Yo! Yo! Thanks for the free tea, I needed some PGs. <laughs> People have been calling this a grudge match. This isn't a grudge match. This is a 15 minute of trying to make his comeback of something that he sucks at. Motherfucking thug rap. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got the will from hubcaps to dust flaps to mudcaps, bruv. That stuff that you just lack, so fuck that. And fuck anyone saying that this guy's harder. I'm smart, my mind sharper than the top of the trident. You can't conquer Poseidon or topple the giant. I've got the knowledge of Mayan scholars and writers on the horizon, a philosopher's mind and a doctor of science. I'm Thomas Aquinas with God on my side like Protestant choirs. <laughs> Matchup is a horrible lie. I only took this battle because it was comically timed. The hatred that I have for you was not a disguise. I'm disgusted to say you even share this hobby of mine. You hungry for this? You hungry for this? You hungry for fame and overconfident brick? Brick? Honestly, brother, if all you want is to get big, then go hop in a whip and drive it off of a cliff. Think about it, it's pros and cons of this shit, like you ain't probably live, but it's a great way to make some Twitter followers click. And for us, you dying is a fucking positive thing. Thought his try it was a classic, but it wasn't the script of Gone With The Wind. The only reason he didn't temple tap is because he's a dick and he probably missed. <laughs> Dreams of being a celebrity, head shoved up his arse. Dreams of being a successfully newly discovered star. Well, you won't make that status off the strength of your current bars. You're Steve Baldwin. Without Big Brother, no one would know who the fuck you are. And they said you're a snake on Big Brother. They said you're a snake on Big Brother. You had to stoop that low. The real you, someone that only you can know. We had 24 hour surveillance on you at home and we still didn't get to see the true man show. So, so I know you feel like not everything is right with the world. I know you feel like you'll never get the hype that you've earned. I actually felt for him until I saw this guy had the nerve to get into a fucking bar fight with a girl. Pathetic. And threatening women and kids on Twitter online is the worst. This is you getting the fucked up life you deserve. And in a club when you catch a girl's eye and you flirt, it might help if you don't Mike Tyson her first. <laughs> Threatening women on Twitter is what this guy might tweet Hitting girls in the club with the Mai Tai knee for an out like he didn't have <laughs> Threatening women on Twitter is what this guy might tweet Hitting girls in the club with the Mai Tai knee Thrown out like he didn't have the right ID to get out everybody It's a pint sized bleak <laughs> He acts like he loves the hate, it fuels him, he can't get enough. They want a big brother and they booed him and that set him up. He went writing his diary in his room and got upset as fuck and we saw him crying over the booze like a depressive drunk. Now don't get me wrong, I've got nothing against a man that cries until he's getting panderized. We all get kind of sad inside, I've had my times, but on Big Brother, on Channel 5. <laughs> And it's live. <laughs> Where's your dignity? You're way too easily antagonised. He goes from tough to effeminate, it's absurd to see the paradigm. In a couple of seconds he goes from Hercules to pantomime. So fuck the pretending you don't deserve to see my battle rhymes until you stop being so fucking pathetic and you can learn to be a man inside. Uh, yes. yeah. But the truth is, I don't even hate you Anton. Fuck it, I don't know how to. Because me hating you would be like me hating on a statue. It just makes me look bad and there's no added value on hating you when I don't know the first thing about you. <laughs> I mean, as, as battlers, we have characters, and that could be said to me. But he's too far gone, he's had his mask on as far back as his memory. So that his attempt to be a celebrity is all a wanker like Anton will ever be. And so you should fucking look at yourself in the mirror and ask, are you happy with that as your legacy? And if you don't want people to bring a big brother in a fucking battle, then don't go on big brother or don't fucking battle. Time! <laughs> Time out. We back up a sec. We've all had a good laugh, rapping with threats. The atmosphere's tense, crackers and sweats. But now there's really something impressive that we have to address. It's that angle you pen about Bamalam's rent having to end. Don't you ever, ever make Bagnall feel that fucking awkward in a battle again. <laughs> Doing jokes in this battle? 
It's fucking hard. I mean, how can this flash be a big one for laughs when we got C over here with a stick up his ass? Um, I can imagine him writing. Crack is in and sat with him. Tom's getting bored, so he cracks a little random quips. He made us used to this by now. He's practiced it and has to grin like ha ha ha. Yeah. Can we actually get back to this? <laughs> Fuck this man's depressing line of business slides and that sad expression hiding in his eyes. He's on that no humour tactic. So bureaucratic you can actually sense him tightening his tie. But hold on, wait. Hmm. Can anyone actually back up this man's age? I mean, it's 14 plus, right? Yeah. Was there an allowance for cracks, mate? Yeah. Oh. You could walk into a GCSE exam and it wouldn't be weird. <laughs> <laughs> You shouldn't be here. They'd just be like, oh, look at the kid pushing the beard. You're, you're literally six. You haven't, <laughs> you haven't grown into an adult, bro. I don't think Marcus is even old enough to be acne prone. Type to answer the door at the flat he owns to be asked, is your mummy or daddy home? <laughs> Marcus, you act all hard, but we're baffled. How are you the geekiest looking guy in, in this, this battle? <laughs> this fucking nerd clubbing. I bet a time girls love it when you jump and turn, strutting like a Thunderbird's puppet. <laughs> no, 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 but you claiming being tough is all humour. <laughs> and with that, you claiming... <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Now you claiming being tough is all humour. And with that beef training, must have had a poor tutor. What, you got more to it than stormtroopers? Nah, you stand in left water white and more water junior. <laughs> Do you know what rhymes with C major's religion? I suppose you want to tell me. How about he changes for women? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about how about he details his opinion? The three days in his switch and a week later is different from a weed blazing addiction to refraining from drinks. <laughs> yeah, I guess that rhymes. Right. Still, still. She's made this decision. Yeah, no, genuinely. <laughs> his wife's the man. It's kind of sad. <laughs> It's kind of sad how he's whipped like a flan. He stays under the thumb like a hitchhiker's back. His prick tries to act like he lives like a man, but his chick style of pants, but his kind of brand. <laughs> See, girl, she stays in power. She don't just wear the pants, she makes you make the trousers. <laughs> I know she's taught you to revere Mecca. And religion is alright, but beer's better. <laughs> You already look like a year seven. You're going to give in to the peer pressure. <laughs> I've got some true fucking shit I'd like to chew up and spit. The C's in a religion, but the shoe doesn't fit. I mean, when you've stuck to script, I bet it's lubed up your chick. But when you entered in a contest and you threw money in, that's gambling, see? Regardless of who won the shit. <laughs> for a few bloody quid and I don't think the mosque would approve such a sin but you truly disregarded how true Muslims live when you partnered up with this guy because that's a huge fucking risk <laughs> and let's face it you guys are hardly content and I love how hard he pretends but to be honest you guys aren't even friends <laughs> they suck at being friends they run into each other at events like bro I didn't know you were coming this weekend <laughs> A mess of a disgrace. He goes to give him respect because he's your mate and he accidentally decks him in the face. <laughs> I reckon C just hates Cracker and Cracker has no, no idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> How can we truly prove this to make it work? On the count of three, say each other's date of birth. One, One two, two, three. Fifteen <laughs> February! Twenty ninth of October! We are way better than <laughs> you two are. We're better best friends than you'll ever get with your respective best friends that neither of you have respectively ever met yet. <laughs> I'm gay for this guy. No homo. I'm gay for you too. No bono. See? <laughs> Such a chemistry as 
lost it. I said the energy is sick and we're intelligent with it. You were the two remaining losers paired together at the gym, so you're never gonna bring the same magneticism in. You got together for the shit, but you never should have mixed. You were definitely pissed or the weather wasn't missed. You're like a fella and a chick who got a wedding as a fix, and now you're only keeping it together for the kids. Come on. Let's go. Jesus Christ, he made it. Holy mackerel. About to show you how this fire works. Roman candle. <laughs> it's about to get hard, core, frozen apple. <laughs> Raise in the roof, solar panel. <laughs> If you make it through by the skin of your teeth, then there'll be no enamel. If you flop, you'll turn up on the, in, the, in the river. That's the poker channel. I'm dressed for war when I need to go to battle like I was sponsored by BCO Apparel. Don't you, don't you hate it? Right, when the nerdy guys with wispy Jesus hair go from cracking jokes and anecdotes to giving evil stares. Then they leave because it doesn't work and they return for the fans that didn't even care. And then they have to... Oh, sorry, Kid Twist, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Canada, you're welcome. You've got an international mastermind. Comes fully stocked with stamina, heart and rhymes. The full thing. The full package with bars combined at just 0.01% of Cassidy's asking price. That is a bargain, right? <laughs> Against Kid Twist. And he's so proud of starting the whole white nerdy battler thing. Like he's the Jesus Christ of us. Or Leonidas, the freedom fighters who've seen the light above. White guys in a black culture? You've reunited us. Maybe white people can finally have equal rights for once. <laughs> no more do we need those special seats to ride the bus. So proud that you broke through. Go you. <laughs> we deserve to be part of this. So true. <laughs> now he did start the white nerdy battler thing. There's no debate and it's true. And that's exactly why I'm here imposing hate on the dude. Because when people think of me, they associate me with who I look similar with. So they literally think I'm a faux creation of you. But I went online recently and a poll was taken to use. Most popular white, nerdy battlers. Your lowly name was removed. I knew it wasn't looking good when Sharona came into view. Then I scrolled down and a hundred bullets has overtaken him too. <laughs> and people compare our hair. Your hair is not enough. My hair is soft as fuck. <laughs> Running your hands through it feels like popping suds and washing up. It's soft as fuck. Softer than cotton fluff. Uh, softer than pocket fluff. Softer than cotton buds. Soft as a washroom rug. It's as soft as a chocolate sponge. Soft as a body scrub. Softer than Forrest Gump. Softer than Soul's caustic punch while wearing a boxing glove. It's soft as fuck. I mean, I mean, Look at this lunatic, fruity bitch, thinks they can move his fingers through it quick and swoop his wrist and suddenly we're all like, oh, it's Twist! <laughs> what shampoo is this? <laughs> Ludicrous, you look stupid, kid. I'm glad that you had decided to lose the quiff, but it looks like you started with human shit. <laughs> and so he retired from battle rap to focus on his book. That's really gay. You've been writing it for five years and probably still haven't managed a finished page. Mark Zuckerberg retired in his 20s because he made a million dollars in a single day. You retired from battle rap because you ran out of things to say. <laughs> what you did wasn't even retirement. Why would you pretend? What you did was go battling, pff, I won't do it again. Unless, obviously, I want to do it again. <laughs> In which case, probably, I'll just do it again. <laughs> you can't retire from battling, it's a hobby. You see how benign that sounds? That's not the kind of thing that people take lying down. Swap it for any other hobby. He's in a club, some lady spirals round and he's like, yeah, I used to do crossword puzzles, but I've retired now. <laughs>
time. <laughs> Shuffle T, yeah. Hey, right, Shuffle T, final round of the main event. Let's go, bro. Captain. <laughs> Be honest. Did you spike me? <laughs> In Leeds. <laughs> I, I think you did. If it wasn't you, it was one of your No, I, I'm not going to rhyme that, by the way. Um, <laughs> look, if you wanted me to get off my face, you should have just asked me casual. I don't need drugs to make me do the robot like I'm part mechanical. Mm. Just get me sugar in me and my dancing's magical. I'm a piñata. That's a party animal. <laughs> talking with my mate, uh, Sue Major, <laughs> and we were talking about how much we love our shoemaker. <laughs> I've been watching him ever since I was a teenager. <laughs> I've even got him saved up on my screen saver. <laughs> Had this whole bit ready for when you all of a sudden correct it, but fine, whatever, fucking forget it. <laughs> Now I'm going to get serious with Ryan now. I'm going to say something, he won't want me crying out. And it's not something he's going to take lying down. You are at once. Sorry, sorry. Oh, Alright, oh. got a call. Uh, quiet down. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Mum, yeah. Uh, it's not really the best time to be calling, okay? Because um, it's currently getting a little bit awkward on stage. <laughs> no, 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 remember, I did already say, I, I can't make going for dinner, I'm performing today. <laughs> Raptor. <laughs> Raptor, you don't know it. Do you? <laughs> He's one of the aggressive ones you said you'd rather miss. <laughs> Mancunian. <laughs> no, not the one that battled Charlie Clips. I know we're getting to it. Right, okay. Uh, remember when we watched the title match? Yeah, half of it. Raptor is the one whose parts we skipped. <laughs> He was near death. Yeah, good point. Alright, the one without the beard then. <laughs> weird, weird head. Yeah, yeah. No, he mentioned the posh stuff, but you know, it's all in good fun. Alright, yeah. Alright, you're, you're being quite talkative, Mum. Yeah, okay, alright. Consider it already done. Um, so she said she wants me to call you a cunt. <laughs> Today. I don't care what Moira said at work in a horrible way. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> you should tell her that that wasn't okay. <laughs> you already did. What did she say? <laughs> no, no, sorry, actually no, I'm getting distracted so I have to go. Alright, yeah, love you too. Alright, yeah, see you back at home. Yeah, thanks for phoning. Hang up though. Alright, alright, love you. <laughs> Raptor, so. <laughs> He said I'm not as good without Marlo. Hey. What can you do? To be honest with you, probably true. <laughs> Let's not fuck around, we all know it. <laughs> so I ran into someone recently in a Starbucks who I suspect was a fan of his. Because he went, oh, don't flop. Do you know when the next heretic battle is? I went, who, sorry? He went, you know, heretic. Uh, the feminine activist. <laughs> Always pushing uh, gay and lesbian marriages. Has a moral problem with almost everything that exists. I went, oh, you mean Liv Winter. <laughs> he went, no, it's a bloke. I went, oh, you mean Liv Winter. <laughs> he went, no, 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 he, uh, vegan. Always see him at events with a carrot stick or one of those vegetable bag of crisps. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of having buttered bread on his sandwiches, just lettuce and radishes. <laughs> obsessed with marijuana? I said, oh yeah, that narrows it down, mate. Nice one. He went, no, 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 but he's obsessed with it for hemp but not cannabis. He has dreads on his head to pretend he's an anarchist. <laughs> Definite pacifist. Checking the back of his medicine cabinets because he disagrees with most modern medical practices because of ethical barriers when they test it on rabbits and he doesn't agree with that depth of analysis. <laughs> 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 
I went, what? He went, don't worry. Um, <laughs> only person from Birmingham who says garages instead of just garages. <laughs> I said, I, 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 I said, I don't know who you're on about. He goes, oh, come on, no, he stole your style. Uh, but I guess with an added twist, because he's posh but goes street whenever he fancies it. He even stole the face you use for bars you get a reaction with. I said, mate, are you aware that all of this is rhyming? <laughs> I mean, you definitely practiced this. And he went, no, it's all freestyle. I went, whatever, mate. Anyway, that can sit. Look, that's an impressively massive list, but I still don't know who this heretic rapper is. He goes, come on, you know him. Uh, uh, Danny Jacks, mate. I went, oh, heretic. Yeah, sorry, heretic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the guy who in um, Sheffield I'm clashing with. I suppose I better get practicing and getting some angles in. I didn't know any of that was him. I might even end up using this conversation verbatim when I eventually... <laughs> He went, oh, that's classic Marlow, mate. I went, I'm not Marlow, I'm Shuffle T. I'm Shuffle T. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward silence. I said, sorry, mate, that's very embarrassing. I said, don't worry, mate, it's actually regularly happening. <laughs> <laughs> Sit there for a second, just panicking, tense as a mannequin. <laughs> he went, so, um... <laughs> What does, what does heretic actually mean? Is it to do with the heritage that you're with? I said, no, I, don't, I think it's to do with like going against all the passages, you know, biblical stuff and being a rebellious maverick. And also these days, you know, I, I guess it's a satirist. <laughs> he went, oh, yes. Yeah, I went, what, are you just here for a, a coffee? <laughs> I went, yeah, yeah, just came in with my friends to just grab a sip. It's pretty expensive to have a drink, £1.70 and a tip. I said, don't you tip? <laughs> you tip? He said, yeah, 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 always tip, always tip. <laughs> Yo, I got a gun! <laughs> Huge as shit! Uh, Trigger alone is two foot six. <laughs> it takes three hours to load up and shoot the clips. I really can't emphasize how huge it is. Like, it's too big, you know? <laughs> Stupid big. I barely ever get around to using it. It's sort of an impulse buy, you know, it's ludicrous. I, I don't really know what to do with it. It's a hassle. <laughs> I want to get rid of it and just call it a day. You open up my door and it falls in your face. I only live in this small little place and this fucking gun is taking up all of the space. <laughs> <laughs> the bullets for this gun are like watermelons. <laughs> well, fuck it, actually bigger. Most people don't believe until I come and hand them a picture. You can't even lift it by like the upper handle and fix it. You have to aim it on the ground and sort of rugby tackle the trigger. Oh my God. Useless fucking gun. <laughs> I regret buying it. I mean, the cash was too much. Had to take a second mortgage to afford it, and as if that's not enough, the outer plate is starting to show cracking and rust, and it's at home, and it is just gathering dust. Incidentally, if anyone wants to buy a gun, I can sell you a fucking giant one. Time. been plotting and watching, I heard they been looking for me I, looking I for pull me. up fresh, all white like dope, I look like a whole key like, like a white piece, all on my back, little homie I feel like a real for me, I, like I change the normal to all my